Hello Hattrickers, welcome to episode 74 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino within Sakel Bahio. So in this episode we'll go over how we are really starting to struggle in the league. Luckily for us though, there are good news in other departments of the club. The Youth Academy seems to have another promising player, but before we look at that, let's start out with a scout's call. Let's start from the bottom today, Primo. Let's check it out. 15 years old, Gigio Belloni. Weak passing. He might reach weak playmaking. That's a no. Hoping for another 15 year old here. 16 years old. Keep around weak. He could reach weak. Defending. No specialty. 16 years old though. We'll say no thank you. Polini. 16 years old. Antonio Bombini. He's uh, disastrous in scoring. Great. And he could reach Richard playmaking. Um, let's see here. He's almost 17. Antonio Bombini. Let's just fire him. No one else gets to see him ever. We could have done better in terms of the scout call here, but uh, luckily I have to show you something with this guy, Leo Greco, because he's actually starting to look quite decent and hopefully we'll be able to finish him before he reaches 17. So uh, in the next match, we will be trying this guy out in front, up front, I should say, against Ballspielverein Amflang here, trying to see what we can uh, find for his uh, actual level in scoring. Bonifaci will be looking to see if he's about to pop in winger because if he's close to inadequate already, that would be quite helpful. And this guy could even do with a bunch of scoring as well. Hopefully there's potential for these guys to be trained side by side some way, but uh, certainly not a given. And we would definitely focus on Bonifaci if this guy is very far away from his uh, actual potential in scoring. But uh, we'll have to check it out in order to make a, a good decision there. We'll just make sure we send these orders again the training report is quite quickly done with this week we had a single pop that was Igor Becker from Paul to weak playmaking let's just take a look at him 1930 HGMS potential we won't be looking at the sheet this week simply because nothing really happened Having him rise to the first training is always nice for Eco Becker. During the midweek, we did play round four in the Copa Sesta, and uh, unfortunately, we did get knocked out by River and C. Sipol Belda in the 37th minute. And if you look at the ratings, we could have been lucky on a special event or something, but uh, eventually, it wasn't enough to knock out River and C from the Copa Sesta. So the next week, we will be playing the Danish team in a Cup Rules friendly in order to try to see if we can get some extra training in, which will be nice as well even though a little extra pennies from the gates wouldn't have hurt us since we are still quite tight on the budget really things got worse in the league match this week against fc mamande we did try a more defensive approach against uh, a great team compared to ours and uh, unfortunately we didn't really stand much of a chance in this match if we look at the start ratings in the uh, central sector you'd see that mamande came with 61 percent chances of converting central attacks and uh, even though they played counter-attack they won the midfield battle by almost two whole levels so pretty much an uneven affair at this point and if we look at the league you'll see why i am calling this a bit of a slump actually because we are all the way down in seventh place we are desperate to get points against latindy in the next match and uh, we'll be trying our utmost in order to remove some of these crosses so we play latindy and then we play fiorentino rsm twice before playing latindy again and hopefully we should be up high in the table because after those two fixtures let me just pull them up here you see, we have Ladendicht, Fiorentino, Fiorentino, then Ladendicht again. And then we have this double combo against the two strongest teams in the league, Mamande and Berlin United. And we really need to have a lot of points going into that program, because if we don't, we will simply be all the way down at the bottom with the bottom team. And that would be too embarrassing, really. Let's just take a look at the league here. They are battling out front. Eight points clear of Ace of Eames on three and third, the two leading teams. And it's quite interesting. We'll get an indication of who's the main title contender after they play it out. FC Mamanda against Berlin United next weekend. In other news related to the YouTube channel, we did actually go above 900 subscribers this week. And I just want to thank you guys for helping the channel grow so much. Thank you. It's unbelievable. I've said it before and I'm saying it again. I never imagined this when I started the channel back a few years ago. So uh, thank you so much. I hope you have a great weekend, Hattrick. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.